on this edition of Around BCC. It's been a time of celebration on the campuses of BCC as we wrap up the 2013-2014 academic year. Work begins on the new Health and Sciences Building in Fall River, and we remember the contributions made by former BCC trustee Fernando Garcia. Welcome to Around BCC, I'm Keith Thibault. It's summer break across all of BCC's campuses. And even though there's less activity this time of year, there's been a lot going on since our last show, the culmination of which was the awarding of degrees and certificates at the college's 47th commencement exercises held on May 31st. More than 1,000 graduates received their associate's degrees and certificates in a sun splash ceremony held on the college's athletic field in Fall River. Along with the well wishes from college dignitaries and honored guests, class valedictorian Thomas Giglio reminded the graduates that the success in the classroom and in life hinges on hard work and the support of others. So I ask everyone to reflect on what got them here today and to be thankful for the opportunity to engage in the educational process. The commitment, the sacrifice, the time spent to achieve this goal of higher education, no one can ever take that away from you. Now look to your future and know you are on the right path. My friend and fellow graduate, Ileana Lopes, you said it best. It isn't about who the smartest is. It's about who's willing to work hard and apply themselves the most. So set your goals, commit to the process, apply yourself and stay on path because what got you here today will get us there tomorrow. When you fully commit to your goals, achieving them is simple. Notice I didn't say it was easy. Mental toughness, resiliency, and knowing what you want for yourself is great, but being fully prepared is the most important. What you do today will shape you tomorrow. And it's not what we, what, yeah, it's not what we achieve so much as it's who we've become along the way. So this proves to reach our full potential, we must prepare a plan and set small achievable goals along our way. And if we hit a detour, we can change our path without changing our destination. It also tells us if we take a risk and get lost, we will find our way back. Sometimes the most challenging thing we face is our own negative feelings. Even when we're well prepared, challenges can get the best of us. I have found that the simplest thing to do when working hard but struggling is just accept the encouragement of people around you who care. Student celebrations dominated the latter part of May and early June with student awards across multiple disciplines and the awarding of GEDs for those returning to school looking to earn their high school diploma. Hey, great news for students attending classes at BCC this coming academic year. For the third year in a row, BCC has decided not to raise fees. The Board of Trustees has set the cost of an education here at BCC for most students at $171 per credit. That's been the same since 2012. The future physical growth of BCC was also celebrated in late May with the groundbreaking of the new Health and Sciences Building at the Fall River campus. Local and state political leaders joined members of the BCC community for the official groundbreaking of the new John J. Spraga PhD Health and Sciences Building. The $46 million project will provide the college with much needed additional classroom space at the Fall River campus. It will serve as the home of many of the college's health science programs. Carol Cornelson, Commissioner of the State Division of Capital Asset Management and Maintenance, the entity overseeing the project, says the new structure is a model in its commitment to the environment. Working together in this instance, BCC and DCAM have already implemented measures to reduce the use of electricity, natural gas, and water, resulting in tens of thousands of dollars in savings. These energy conservation measures put us at the top of the list for energy projects at colleges in New England. The, this new building, this new facility will include, and in, uh, some of the features have already been mentioned to you, but renewable power from a rooftop photovoltaic system, 
uh, geothermal heating and cooling systems, and filtering recirculating fume hoods that will greatly reduce exhaust and improve air quality. This building is also expected, as we were told, to achieve zero net energy use. This means, again, that the energy generated on site through clean renewable resources is equal to or greater than the total amount of energy consumed. Commenting on the state-of-the-art facility, President Sprague says even though the new building will bear his name, credit for its existence is shared by many. What a wonderful day and a wonderful occasion. It's, uh, I'm honored and humbled uh, on this momentous occasion. Uh, just no words to, uh, to describe it. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, it really is, however, I want to make clear, it's a celebration of the wonderful people at BCC and uh, they have made it a high-performing institution. The mayor said the best community college in the region. I'm sure he meant to say the country. <laughs> <laughs> but our BCC family is extraordinary, and uh, I'm accepting this honor really on their behalf. Since the ceremonial groundbreaking, work has begun on the construction site. Now, in addition to the new building, the project will also see the renovation of existing college buildings in Fall River. The project's completion is targeted for early 2016. The Massachusetts Board of Higher Education in June approved an application submitted by BCC to designate the Attleboro Center as a full campus. Becoming a campus versus a center means BCC and Attleboro provides full services to its students and also offers a significant number of degree and certificates which can be completed entirely on site. This coming academic year will mark the 10th anniversary of BCC's expanded offerings in Attleboro where some 1,700 students took classes last year. We'll have more of Around BCC right after this. Being a girl in a male-dominated field, it's kind of overwhelming to have all the guys sitting there kind of looking back like, what is she doing here? Where I actually ended up exceeding a lot of those people and, and finishing above them. My name's Courtney. I've been coming to BCC for about two years now. I'm in electromechanical engineering. Previously got my bachelor's degree in marine biology, but was finding it a little difficult to find a job out in the field. So I went back into engineering to kind of get more hands-on skill sets. When I first started, I really didn't know what to expect. With the electrical program, right when I jumped in, it was just exhilarating. It was like, oh my God, okay, this is what engineers do. It's not that basic idea that everybody gets in their head. It's anything. Engineering is everywhere. From day one, when I took my first electrical class, I just became so involved and interested in how electrical circuitry works. It's a lot of work, but you don't notice how much work it is. It's so much fun when you're um, putting together a whole electrical system to make a light blink or something. You're seeing something happened. And once I got here, it was kind of like, okay, this is what you need to do. Get involved, join these clubs, do outreach, meet people in industry. And it really, it really opened doors for me. Currently, I just got an um, internship at Aquabotics in Fall River. They work with remotely operated vehicles. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of the assembly and electrical work for that, which after joining engineering has been something that I really want to pursue. BCC has really given me that uh, stepping stone that I needed to get into the career world and I just want to plan that next step finally and see where my life is going to take me. Welcome back. The great celebrations of our students' successes this spring were tempered a bit in mid-May with the news of the passing of Board of Trustees Chairman Fernando Garcia. Family members, friends, and community leaders gathered to pay tribute to the late Fernando Garcia at a memorial service held at the Fall River campus. President Dr. John Sprague said throughout his life, Mr. Garcia made a regional, national, and international impact upon all those he met. We can't help but be sad because all we know that Fernando was a bigger was a force bigger than life, uh, and one made a substantive impact on his friends, his colleagues, 
his business associations, and throughout the region. We will miss his grace and good cheer, which he never failed to demonstrate, even when facing tremendous struggles and, uh, and painful uh, episodes. Southern Massachusetts, House oh, Ethan Massachusetts lost one of its largest, strongest advocates. He was a champion for education in general. He was a champion in particular for Bristol Community College and for UMass Dartmouth, uh, and also uh, his business connections. So we, we could always uh, rely on Fernando to uh, improve our business uh, associate linkages uh, for Bristol Community College throughout the region as well as with our educational partners. Mr. Garcia's widow, Karen, was the final speaker at the memorial. She said she was humbled by the turnout of people who wished to pay their respects to her late husband. It's not surprising, though, because he was the kindest, the friendliest, the most giving soul on earth. It didn't matter to him what walk of life you came from, what your background or level of education was, how wealthy or poor you may be. If anyone needed his help in any way, shape, or form, he would do his utmost to be of assistance. In fact, he gave so much of himself to so many that oftentimes there was very little to give at home. But I learned to accept that because doing for others was what brought him such gratification and fulfillment. Governor Deval Patrick announced in June that trustee Joseph Marshall has been appointed chair of the BCC Board of Trustees, succeeding Chairman Garcia. Mr. Marshall, who has served on the board since 2007, is the founder and president of the financial consulting firm J. Marshall Associates in Fall River. Mr. Marshall is a 1978 graduate of BCC. The BCC athletic teams are on hiatus, but there's still much to celebrate off the field and off the court. Three members of the Bees were selected by the NJCAA as recipients of the Academic Student Athlete Award. Ed Culp and Flavio De Costa in men's soccer and Graham Gisherman in men's basketball received the honor, which recognizes student athletes who have three semesters of classes under their belts and have a GPA of 3.6 or higher. Elsewhere on the BCC athletic front, standout basketball player Shane DeRosa is going pro. DeRosa recently signed a contract to play basketball for the Providence Anchors of the American Basketball Association. The six-foot guard is coming off a season where he averaged 24 points and 6.3 assists for the Bees. That'll do it for Around BCC for now. I'm Keith Tebow. Thanks for watching.